I would like to give back the floor to Evelyn um, to wrap up this uh, focus session. Here we go. Yes. Thank you, Erica, uh, and indeed, thank you uh, for for all the speakers, but most of all uh, for all those uh, being uh, uh, online with us in this session. And uh, thanks for all your questions. Um, I'm aware that we were not able to answer all of them, uh, but uh, uh, we will look into those uh, anyway in the work uh, that we will uh, do forward. Um, before I close the meeting, um, I would like to do a short uh, a recap uh, of uh, where we are. So um, we will continue to work on the further design of the digital euro on a more detailed uh, part, as you could also see from the work uh, from uh, uh, Patrick, uh, is that the work is uh, becoming a bit more uh, technical in the sense uh, to, to work out how we can really uh, uh, work on uh, on those standards. But uh, uh, in, in parallel, uh, we continue to interact with all stakeholders and very much uh, also on the uh, end users uh, that will in the end use the digital euro uh, so that we make sure that uh, uh, we continue to have their support for the digital euro uh, and that the digital euro is really fit for purpose and adds value uh, for the end users. Of course, as has been explained in this uh, uh, overview, also uh, the intermediaries are extremely important. They have a key role in distributing the digital euro. Uh, and uh, we will continue the interactions with them uh, that we have. And therewith, we, therewith, sorry, we really jointly together deep dive on certain areas uh, where there might still be some concern uh, or uh, some questions. So, for example, uh, the work on the rulebook is a very important one because it, uh, it determines um, uh, the functionality of the digital euro, but also how we design it and the reuse of existing standards will um, make sure that uh, uh, the implementation uh, cost could be uh, limited while still uh, uh, delivering on the digital euro. Um, uh, second uh, uh, to that, uh, we will uh, further do experimentation, as I said, where the, the user uh, research that we're going to do will be in, in, very important because it will continue to feed into uh, the design and to make sure that we design something that's really uh, and needed. Um, so, uh, and then in parallel, as you know, uh, uh, the discussions with the legislators are still there. Um, there we also see that, for example, the uh, intermediation, uh, disintermediation from the bank, so the calibration of the holding limit is very important and we believe with the technical work we're doing together with the market uh, participants that we can provide a very good basis to set a holding limit that makes sure that the digital euro is also very valuable uh, for uh, the intermediaries. So I would like to close. We will continue uh, the hard work uh, and uh, further work on uh, working together with the uh, market uh, uh, participants. We also will make sure that we continue to be open and transparent uh, by uh, uh, publishing the work that we do, stay uh, uh, connected and present things to the ERPB and work together with the ERPB. Uh, and continue to uh, to communicate uh, not only to uh, the more uh, uh, experts as we have expected in this call, but also more to general public. So with that, um, uh, this is not the last time that we will interact. Um, thank you very much. Um, and I will hand back now to Erica, who will have some uh, last uh, more technical uh, uh, details to close off. Thank you very much again. Exactly. Thank you, Evelyn. And um, before everybody drops off, we would really like to hear your views. So in the chat, you will find a link uh, to give us feedback. You also can scan the QR code that, uh, that you see on the slides. And we really want to learn um, 
about the topics you're most interested into and also for the next session so that we can make it um, ever more interesting for you. So many thanks for joining us in this focus session. The recording will be published on the ECB website as well as the presentation with the presentation. So you can check it out there. You can also follow us on the Digital Euro LinkedIn uh, page uh, for the latest news on the project. And thank you very much and enjoy your day.